It's not the most optimal setup at the moment. I thought like for this monitor and shit, for the monitor, that setup is for the monitor. That setup. This is for the PS4 and I connect it to my laptop and put it in the middle. But I won't have a laptop soon. I got this old laptop here, it's dusty and crusty, but you know what works works. What a fork and a hurry. Haha. Honestly boys and girls. 10% girl, pe girl people watching. Girl people. 10% of my viewer base are female. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one thing to tell you. England is the most depressing shithole on planet Earth, alright? If you're in another country at the moment, and the real estate is so fucking expensive, so even buying like, an apartment or house is outrageously expensive. Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something to tell you. I don't need to confess. You don't want to live here. You don't want to live here, boys. This place is a shit. My hands are like. I got pneumonia or some shit. A little bit. My hands are fucking tingly from the cold. I should have got a jacket, obviously. Gonna save my hands. Next week, your boy going boxing. So you need hands again on some people, someone's face. Ugh. England is probably one of the biggest shitholes on planet Earth. Like, if you got money, it's nice in certain areas. And there's a lot of cute girls. I'm not gonna fucking fuck with you, bro. There's a lot of cute girls. If you're into that type of thing. A lot of guys are into that type of thing. So, if you spend all your day rizzing, you got a bunch of money, you got that lifestyle, you spend all the day trying to pick up girls, you'll pick up some. Also, you have to be in like, good shape and everything as well. If you're in good shape and you have like good clothing sense and, you know, you live that affluent lifestyle and you're trying to pick up girls constantly like, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, upwards. Bro, you're gonna get infinite fucking girls, bro. Most of these girls are fucking stupid. And, like, a little bit of money just entices them. You don't even have to give them any one or other. Ultimate race. I have to tell you boys that I'm not interested in the type of thing. Getting girls, or boys and girls. I'm not interested in the type of thing, I'm not interested in getting a relationship, I'm not interested in getting a partner. Some of the comments be like, oh you're too ugly for a partner anyway. Well, true, facts, can't lie. But more than that, it's like, that's going to inhibit me. Of course there are good relations, like my friend has a really good relationship at the moment. With a decent girl, like, I'm not going to say anything about her. She's not like particularly pretty, particularly ugly. Just like eh, just eh, in my opinion. But you know they have a good relationship going on. As in, how do I say this? She's doing her own thing with A levels, etc., etc. College. He's doing his own thing with the traineeship. I got a fucking award. Seven workout week. You complete seven workouts, or at least five minutes each this week. That's worth some recognition. Okay, what the fuck is my badge? Fucking, you see this, ladies and gentlemen. Six PM I go home. I like it, I'm like your night crack. Can I see my badges? Let's see them bro. So yeah that's um that's about it. Like I this feeling of like that I'm getting at the moment is that I want to I really want to document. I'll make it a short film as well. This feeling that I'm getting is is like I want to be elsewhere. I want to be doing something else. I want to be more proactive, productive in my life. I want to be out there, experiencing, feeling, doing this lifestyle of just getting home at six p.m. I got a weekend ahead of me. I got a three day weekend. Was it a four day weekend? Then it's two day Friday. I got a four day nine to five again. Doing bullshit in your work.
I'm gonna come back to this video. It's gonna take me a minute to record this. It isn't like one of my commentary rant videos where it's like, oh yeah, I, I hate the system and this is how you get rich and exercise is selfish and business is a scam. It isn't anything like that. It's more like, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing in my life? I need time to think. I don't think I've given myself enough time to think in my own life. Like all of us, we're also busy with our lives. We and we're also distracted and how do I say this? Consumed by information and perhaps the excess of information within our lives, to the point where it's difficult to just sit down and think. I'm getting to that moment where yeah, I, I can sit down and think, but holy shit, when I start thinking, I'm like, motherfucker, man, this life I have is not in order at all. Your boy kind of fucked here. The more I think about it, the more it fucks me up. I want a lifestyle so bad of freedom, exploration, joy, money, affluence. But here's the penultimate tough question, like what Marcus Aurelius said. Ask tough questions. What the fuck am I doing to get that lifestyle? Nothing. Nothing. Perhaps YouTube? Not enough. It's not enough. Uh. Can I Joe? I've been married a long time ago. Where'd you go from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Can I Joe? Where'd you go from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Can I do? That's gonna be a segment, by the way. Okay, it's a storm out. on the lens. I'm just gonna risk it. Got the camera right now. I'm not a fucking idiot though. I always like to have my hand. Um, to being knuckled, perfect for punching people in the head. My own Apple Watch. Annoying. This room has changed, definitely. And my life has changed, definitely. But I couldn't say that it's changed for the better. I couldn't say, like, from the bottom of my heart, to tell you the honest truth, ladies and gentlemen, that it's like fucking to the point where. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of money, and I, I, I'm making okay money, guys. I'm not making a fuck ton of money. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of money, and I'm getting with these girls, and... Uh, uh, uh. Then honest with you, I get zero bitches. I don't get enough money. My life, as I see it right now, it isn't very up. It isn't very entertaining. After that, I got boxing training as well, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm pursuing things that are incredibly lonely. My sports that I pursue are, are lonely. The choice of career I'm choosing, entrepreneurship, is by default lonely. Even until you have like your own staff members working for you. But then like there's a weird employer staff relationship that you have that isn't how do I say this? Entirely personal and without work getting in the way. Like how are you gonna have a relationship with a person that's like purely good friendship when you're their boss? Or, you, that, or you're the employee. There's going to be some pressure or like some tension in between the two of you for the most part. And if you can make that relationship work, like I know there's individuals that can definitely make that, this, that type of shit work with the family. Like you employ your little brother or something, perfect. Or you work with a really, really close friend and then you really like each other, etc. Et et it works. But for the most part, well, like the bo you're a boss but you're really friendly to the employees or you're an employee and you're really friendly to the boss, etc. Et et vice versa. But that shit is rare. That shit is a dime a dozen. That shit does not happen. And for most people, their trajectory in life is somewhat down and grey and unknown. I definitely feel that for myself. 
That's kind of fucking annoying. Catch you guys next.